we've become like a really special place to, to people. What's up, everybody? Ruben with Fine Fayetteville, and I'm in Pan, downtown Fayetteville. And the person that introduced it all, if you don't mind, tell everyone who you are, what you do, how you do it, and all that good jazz. Uh, so, my name is Brian Grable, and I'm the owner of Pan, which is uh, our lovely little sandwich shop uh, right here in uh, the heart of historic downtown Fayetteville. Yep. Um, so, we make sandwiches, but we try to take every piece of that and, and be intentional with it and very specific with ingredients and preparation and recipes and all those things. And uh, the way it gets done is the incredible staff that's here for sure. They keep me aligned. So why sandwiches? Why sandwiches? So, well, I love sandwiches. Um, and, and Fayetteville is kind of, for better or worse, been a Subway and Jersey Mike's kind of town. Yeah. And I eat Jer I eat Jersey Mike's. Like, yeah. I like Jersey Mike's. It's, it's good. Uh, it just doesn't excite me. Yeah. So we decided, once this this um, space came available, that you know we would try and further our wants to expose Fayetteville to maybe something, to overuse a word, a little more elevated by sourcing local ingredients and using uh, the, the, the highest quality things we can get our hands on so we can expose people to better ingredients um, things maybe they haven't seen or heard of and then put it in a format like a sandwich where everybody can kind of just pick it up and eat it it's not pretentious it's it's a sandwich yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. What, what, what are some of these uh, local locally harvest ingredients Okay, so um, so our one of our favorites is uh, called San Giuseppe Salami Company, and uh, they are located in Elon, and they use local local livestock, and they cure all of their own sopressadas and salamis and hams, and and I think they're the only salamaria in North Carolina that I'm aware of doing this kind of thing. Um, so you start out with something that incredible, you don't have to hide behind it, and you can just use it. Um, other than that, I'm uh, on the board of a nonprofit. Just a little quick shout out. Uh, it's called Veterans Farm of North Carolina. It's located up in Harnett County. Okay, there we go. Um, well, if you need any information, I got you. But they grow basil for us. So all of our basil is, I mean, it's right up the road, grown fresh basil. And we go through a ton of basil here with the pesto. So that's a couple a couple right out the gate. Um, Joe Van Gogh, our coffee producer, they're based up in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Um, they roast to order for us and then ship it next day. So the beans we get here are, are literally fresh roasted, specific for us. Yeah. Um, just little pieces like that. Yeah. Is there anything that you have to bring in that's outside of North Carolina? So when somebody's watching this, like, yo, I, that's what I do. And then they can probably reach out to you. Um, of course, um, North Carolina, and I think the nature of a lot of things now is, you know, we want things when we want them. Yeah. Tomatoes don't grow here right now. Right. So obviously every tomato we have is probably not from North Carolina. <laughs> but when they're in season, they are. So there's 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 plenty of things that we have to kind of source a little more broader. Right. Um, and we can still be specific about what we're getting, who we're getting it from, but it's, it's kind of hard to hold it only to the state uh, and still get the things we want. And then there's things like prosciutto di Parma when we have it that's obviously not from here that's from right. Parma Italy <laughs> um, so now we, we do what we can when we can but but we also have to be open and have tomatoes every day so yeah you know <laughs> yeah. it's compromises yeah. totally totally so speaking of open you guys have been open for about two years now uh, we're getting there it's been about a year and a little over a year and a half oh, okay. yeah, time goes by um, I think June June will be two years okay. for us, um, and we're kind of in another iteration of, you know, we're always growing and, and pushing things, and, you know, we added breakfast this this year and things yeah. like that, so we're still in our expansion phase, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open on Mondays now. Open on Mondays today. We're going to get in about 45 minutes from now, you know? <laughs> exactly. What, what, what have you learned in those last two years? Because you've gotten some of the experience from napkins, correct? And then, but bringing it here, doing just sandwiches, what have you learned in these last two years? What have, what has the support been like from Faye? and all of that um well we learn every day here <laughs> um, uh, you know down downtown in itself is a is an amazing little neighborhood but it comes with its quirks yeah. um, and we're still um, adjusting to some of those um, it, you know like for example and, and napkins is the same way or the other the joint yeah. uh, they're very weather dependent you know what I mean because um, and we don't have any parking right here in front of us so it's kind of a 
have to park and walk to get here. Yeah. So, you know, learning to plan for inclement weather or other weird things that go on um, has been a curve because you're a business and you gotta, right. you know, you gotta capitalize every day as best you can. Yeah. Um, especially with, you know, we're not using any pre-battered jalapeno poppers in here, so right. it's expensive ingredients, and so we want to make sure we use them, fresh baked breads and things like that. So yeah. having to adjust to weather and ups and downs and just general traffic flow downtown has been interesting. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, I've been in the restaurant world for a long time since I got out of the military, and that was a long time ago. So I've been fortunate to work for some great people, um, Danny and Mikey down at Piero's, and um, I've learned a lot over the years. So uh, it, it's, it's not it's less learning as it is just adjusting and identifying things and trying to work around them before they become things. Of you course. I mean? Of course. And I'll say for the ones who are not coming down here because it's a walking distance. Dude, this this is not a huge downtown. No. I walk uh, from the other side of the, the railroad tracks. And I mean, that's almost all of downtown, right? So it's not a long distance. You could walk here. There is a ton of free parking down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and even if it's not, I mean, if it's that big a deal, message me. We got you. We'll, we'll validate your parking for you. Yeah. Uh, how much is parking? I think it's. I think it depends on where you're parked at. Yeah. But it's maybe a dollar an hour. Or dollar an it's, hour. It's, I got you. I got you. Maybe we'll put together a fund. Either way, you gotta come out here. Put little tickets on the wall, and if you need a dollar for your parking, we got you. Yeah. 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 Awesome, man. So it's about to be, well, it's springish time, I guess, but it's it's going to be summertime. What should I get? I walk in here during summertime. What would you suggest that I get? Food and drink. Oh, man. Well, we have some questions for you first. Okay. Because um, a lot of, you know, we don't have a club sandwich. We don't have, there's no, like, punt on the menu where it's just like, oh. Like, you need to look at the ingredients of what you eat sandwiches. They're very right. different and unique. They're very flavorful. There's there's bold things on just about every single one of these. Right. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions first. Okay. Um, if you're okay with a little bit of spice, which I love, my favorite for right now is the Forza for the sub. Um, and that's got our, you know, we make everything from scratch here. So that's got our Calabrian pepper relish on it. That's got a really nice deli mustard on it. It's got our vinaigrette on there. Yeah. Then you got big pieces of mortadella and you got other meats and che cheeses. Anyway, the Forza, and this is on Superior Bakery bread, and you guys already know yeah. about Superior Bakery. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's not like anything you'll have anywhere else. Full stop. Right. Full stop. Right. Um, we do have some gorgeous salads too, though, if you're not into the sandwich, especially spring and summer coming up. Yeah. I should probably eat more salads myself. <laughs> um, and those are all like named after local parks around here. And there's some really cool stuff on those too. Um, yeah. You know, you're not going to get a, a quarter of a wedge of a tomato on there and three cucumber slices and a, some right. pre-made ranch dressing. Like right. um, these are legit salads too. Um, yeah. To drink, yeah. man, we've got like 20 selections of drinks. I don't yeah. know. Like, yeah. like what do you what do you like? Yeah, yeah. what do you like? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Which, and now that, you know, I mean, there's these sandwiches that are named not only from people who've, who've been with you along the way, but now it sounds like there's parks. What Which name has meant the most to you? Maybe maybe the sandwich has a tie-in to that, but which one up there, if I were to come in here like, man, I know that sandwich means something to Pan, which one would that be? Okay, well, this is a little too easy of a question. Okay. Um, hi, Stacy. That's my wife. And the Stace right, yeah. sub was is, yeah. is, the, uh, is the winner on that one. She was instrumental in getting us open. She was here every day. Um, just a huge I'm a little crazy and I have crazy ideas all the time and she puts up with most of them gracefully and, uh, and keeps me kind of grounded sometimes but also just lets me run with things um, so the stace is the obvious choice here um, if the stace was not the obvious choice it's gonna either be the Giuseppe which is for our meat provider who is we're just tickled that we get to work with these people um, and we get to call them if we need something it's so nice to be able to call a local guy and I can call them and they can send down what I need or anyway um, so San Giuseppe has been great or we're a, you know, we're a very uh, aesthetically pleasing restaurant, I believe. Um, and a lot of that is owed to Malia and Patrick down at Leclerc's. Um, and the Leclerc is probably the most popular sandwich on the menu. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, by, a, by a bit. Yeah. Um, so those have been, the, I think, the two biggest. The look of the place uh, has been a big influence on everything and, and also yeah. the, the product, the meat. Is your wife vegetarian? Because I see that that sandwich is. No, not, no. E not even a little. Not even a little. Um, but uh, we, we didn't really have too many vegetarian options on the menu. Right. And, you know, I'm not a vegetarian either, but I do like vegetables. And, right. Um, that, that style of sandwich wasn't on the menu. 
Right. So that's the whole that. And she came up with, she she did all the ingredients for it. It wasn't, you know, most of the people who have something named after them, they had input on what that sandwich oh, okay. became. Right. So oh, like the, cool. the ingredients of the Leclerc, like Patrick pretty much picked those out. Yeah. Um, there's a couple things like we didn't have or weren't going to carry, so we adjusted there. But the, 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 the essence of the sandwich was theirs too, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, we're very uh, Fayetteville centric when we can be and we're happy to, to show off our, our people. Yeah. That's really cool, man. I love that. I love that. And I want people to know that as they walk in here and there's like a, a story to the sandwich that they're about to eat, right. you know? Um, all right, say it's cold outside. I want something warm. What's going to warm me up? Which one should I look at? Well, hopefully the cold weather's behind us this year. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. totally irrelevant. You're going to have to wait till November for this. I'm wearing shorts right now, so... Um, on the other side of the menu, there's panini. And I think, I don't know if we're the only place that's kind of really making them. I don't know that for sure. Or the only ones I know of. Yeah. Um, and, and we're not using some weird off the cuff bread. We're using ciabatta bread. Like we finish the ciabatta bread in the oven here, cut it and make panini out of it. So it's legit. Right. Um, so those get a nice toastiness to them. Um, a little crust on the outside. They're not, they're not as heavy as the subs are, but any one of the panini, if it's cold out, and again, you like a little bit of spice. Uh, the Icarus is my favorite panini. You can see I have a type. Um, the Icarus is my favorite. Um, and it's the nice thing about the panini are it's really, there's not very many ingredients on them. There's maybe four components to it. Um, because you have to be able to kind of smush it and it can't right. be this huge big mess right. um, So you really got to focus on getting those ingredients to play nice together and yeah. and convey what you want to convey So right. that one's got the pepper relish on it, but the relish sits on like creamy burrata yeah. in the sandwich And it just it's, it's just it's just nice. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And when it's cold out we have soup we, we don't have it all year because we it's one of those things again We're not gonna buy it. We're gonna make it from scratch yeah. all the way, but that said if if, if it's summertime sorry we don't have soup. Yeah. We're, we're just not going to make soup every day to not sell any soup. Yeah. Um, so on a cold day, though, a cup of Joe Van Gogh, a nice Icarus panini, maybe a little soup on the side. Yeah. 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 You know, perfect. Yeah, exactly. No. And yeah, exactly. So I want to say something about the crazies who are probably summertime, mad humidity and just trying to slurp down the hottest soup it's, that they have. Uh, I'm not going to say there's an age group that typically does this. <laughs> but there's an age group that typically wants soup in July. <laughs> and there that is. All right, um, I got some questions for you, some random questions, but before that, do you want to say something about this cool little picture right here? So that picture is the most photographed thing in here, for sure. Um, and, and not because anybody knows to photograph it, they just do. Yeah. Um, but this is something we got from uh, uh, Malia and Patrick up at Leclerc's when we were kind of conceptualizing how we wanted the place to look on the inside and what we wanted the decor to be. And um, you know, they were like, well, let's do two or three kind of really cool pieces yeah. um, mixed in with all the other prints and, and other things too. Um, so the frame, any of the gold frames in here, so even the one behind me, they're from the 1800s, which is cool enough as it is. Yeah. But the picture of the lemons is from like a French botanical guide, um, but it dates to the mid 1700s. Yeah. So that, that picture is almost 300 years old, um, right. which is crazy and it looks great. Um, it but it's a nice conversation piece. Uh, it's just a neat. It's just such a neat thing to have on a yeah. wall. And I've told that story a hundred times now, and I'll tell it a hundred times well, again. And I'll smile every time. But I'll smile every time because it's cool. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. who can say they got a three hundred year old piece of art on their wall yeah. at their sandwich shop? Yeah. <laughs> like it's just cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to say it again. You can just point them to this video and like fast forward to the. <laughs> yes. Use this as leverage. Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. I got some random questions for you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, I just moved to Fayetteville. What would you tell me about your business? We're, you know, a locally owned, veteran owned, small business. Um, we've, uh, we love our city. We want Fayetteville to be the best version of itself it can be. Sometimes yeah. it has to get out of its own way to do that. Yeah. Um, we're not a perfect city, but we're a wonderful place and um, we're super excited to be in the heart of downtown. I think where all the cool stuff really has a chance to happen. Yeah. So, you know, uh, the, the little downtown corridor is, I think, the heart of any real city, even though there's a lot going on that way in Fayetteville, but yeah. downtown's, I think, where the cool stuff starts. Um, and uh, we're just, you know, a couple of local restaurants, and we're just trying to be good stewards of our community and um, make some delicious, gorgeous food um, when we can. Delicious and gorgeous. <laughs> if you see gorgeous sandwiches on Instagram, it was us. Yeah, yeah. We might have to hashtag, you might need a t-shirt of that. Um, best compliment you or your business has ever received? Oh man, we get some good ones here. Um, I wish I had, I wish I could pull up 
yeah. some of the, the, the private messages we get. Um, people say things about this place that I don't know if people say them about mm-hmm. restaurants very often. Right. Um, and I, and this is, you asked the question, I'm not trying to toot our horn or anything, yeah. but uh, we've become like a really special place to, to people. Yeah. Um, and and they, I don't know, I don't even know if it's what they say, but it's the way people say things to us sometimes that is yeah. just, it like it's like staggering. Yeah. Like, and we'll be back here as a group in the kitchen, just kind of like, like shaking our heads at at some of the just really nice things people have to say yeah. about us. Um, I, I couldn't pull one off the top of yeah. my head, but but I, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, it's it's amazing what people can can say about you. Well, you could. It's not that you had a quote, man, but you could tell just through the feeling of you saying that that what they have said just means so much. It's. it's uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, it's it's imp- it's crazy. Like, I, that's all I, I don't know. Like it's 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 such a uh, we're so fortunate to to be important to people like yeah. that, you know. Yeah. And 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 people I think get what we're doing and and trying to do and uh, it's just it's I don't know. It's awesome. I love that, it's man. Awesome. I love that. Outside your business, what would you tell someone who just came to Fayetteville? They'd have to do while they were here, and you can't choose napkins. <laughs> Fair. Um, <laughs> Dirt bag. No, um, yeah, right. no. it's it's uh it's a big deal out there. It's a cool place. Um, there's nothing there's nothing else like that either. Um, yeah. And they've been instrumental in in, in our growth as well. So yeah. shout out to those guys. Yeah. Um, if I can't say them either, yeah. um, I was like I don't want to punt and say the baseball games at Segura, but like it's a beautiful park. It is. Like oh, their birthday's coming up too. Is it? Four years, I think. Um, I'm a Red Sox fan, but I I guess I'll go to an Astros affiliate game if I have to. But the <laughs> The park is gorgeous, and it's it's um it's not expensive to go to a game. Um, the amenities are, are wonderful. Uh, it's outdoors. You know, I'm a big fan of doing things outside if yeah. we can. Um, um, that or like, now that I'm thinking about baseball games, the hockey games, like pay whatever the cost is for the front row seats on the bottom ice level. Yeah, it's like it it can't be 25 bucks. I don't yeah. know, but to be like on the glass yeah. like during a hockey yeah. game, like it's 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 so fun. Yeah. You know? um, the, and that's what came to my head first. Yeah. Um, there's there's a lot to eat or drink, but I'm trying to go a different direction here. Um, I would do, do those things. Yeah. They're here and they, they have stuff going on all year long. But uh, yeah, go to a game. Yeah, I agree. And both of those, the hockey and the baseball games, man, they have all kinds of cool events that they're putting on. Not just the actual uh, the sport, yeah. but they got all kinds of cool. Event. I mean, you just need to go like their page and just see what they have going on because they do, man. They they crush, especially the hockey team. They crush it on events. And hockey, city, it's like it's inside. It's air conditioned. Yeah. Like it's cool in there, you know. Like you don't gotta be outside. Sometimes the baseball game can get a little, a little warm. sticky. A little warm. Uh, hockey man, wear black wear clothes like I do. Oh yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, buy some merch, and we we sell them in black. Link it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a link. Um, where can people find you? Obviously the location, but where else? Where else can they find you and, and kind of watch your story? Um. Hmm. We got some things in the pipeline that I don't know if we can talk about yet. When is it? Um, Sixty to ninety days from now, probably. Um, I don't know, but I, it's not set in stone, so I can't. There was a clue what I just said. But I'll leave it at that. Um, but um, you know, between the two places, um, you know, napkins being way out in Hope Mills, right off of ninety five, um, and then us being kind of in the heart of the historic downtown district. Um, I mean, that's certainly where I am at all times, uh, yeah. if I'm not at home with um, the fam. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, come check out downtown. It's, we're in the, the, the heart of historic. We know we just got our um, historical landmark placard put on the building. Like these are, if you, if you go all the way in the back and you look, you know, we've got drywall and stuff out front, but in the back, it's still the old brick. And you yeah. can see the archways yeah, so where cool. it was, carriages were, spo- that's what that was for at first. Um, yeah. So, um, come check out our little cobblestone beautiful downtown. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm at, anyway, and have a sandwich, probably, while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true, so true about the architecture, because I was just talking to one of my friends before I walked in, and she's got an office space, just got it, I guess, and she was like, come on up, and I'm like, you know I will, because I just want to check it out, man. Um, is there anything that you want to tell everybody before I let you go? Uh, yeah, man, like, eat <laughs> local. Eat like, local. Like, stop at a local place. I, I wish I knew the, the Anthony Bourdain quote word for word. I don't. But like, if it's four o'clock in the afternoon, go grab a beer and a bite at some local joint. Yeah. Even, you know what I mean? Uh, 
the we you know we opened napkins up five months before COVID, and food prices are not back down. Yeah. They're they're still elevated. Yeah. Um, it is uh, it's tricky for for local restaurants who don't have the buying power and and the the national brands to 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 save when they can save. Yeah. Um, and you know it's not like we everything in here goes bad. Um, and that's not just here. It's all these all these little local places. Everything everything in here is going to get thrown away next week if we don't use it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if, if we want Fayetteville to keep moving forward, and you know, if you look at all the cities in this state, right? Charlotte, Durham, Wilmington, yeah. Asheville, they all have these great food cultures. Yeah. And we're like the next biggest one that that yeah. doesn't honestly have that yeah. thing. You know what I mean? And, and you can talk about how it's an army town, and that's why, and blah, 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 blah. I think that's just a crutch Fayetteville is using sometimes to not grow, you know what I mean? Um, so I think, you know, if we want to make Fayetteville the next kind of food-centric city in a state and have really good dining and drinking, and, um, and, and I'm a little biased, but I think a good food and beverage culture raises all the other cultures yeah, in town, you know what I mean? Um, since humans, worked out any language to speak with one another we convened around food yep. um, and it's I don't I don't care what you tell me it's it's important hospitality is important totally. meals are important yeah. um, so anyway support the local food scene especially the ones out there that are really doing the thing really trying um, uh, be kind to them as they work through things if they were just now opening you know what yeah. I mean but 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 eat local shop local shop small yeah. all those hashtags you see all the time yeah. are important support local yeah. support, you know what I mean yeah. um, like and subscribe yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just just eat local yeah that's what it is yeah well I appreciate it man I really do but yeah man go out there go find and eat and drink in Fayetteville that's right drink and be merry right here in town that's right cool what's the thing man that's